my YouTube channel. I love doing these kind of videos for you. Today we're going to be doing one pair of jeans five different ways. So I know I last did one dress, six styles, and so many people really, really liked it. And a lot of you guys are wondering, like, can you do something with jeans? Because, you know, okay, I admit, I don't usually wear jeans. I also understand that sometime in the middle of winter, you need something to spice up your wardrobe. And for me, jeans is so versatile. So today I thought I would just show you the five most common ways that I style my jeans, and I hope you guys like it. Okay guys, so this is my first outfit. I'm wearing a black bralette under, and it's just a super basic lacy bralette that you can find anywhere. And I'm pairing it with this top. This is kind of like a chiffon top, double line. Um, I love it when white tops are double lined because this means that you're not gonna like see through all your goodies. And one thing I really like about this top is that it's got adjustable straps. It just comes in like two pieces and then you can like tie the straps however, whichever length you want it. So for me, like I want the bralette to peek out a little bit so I just tied it a little lower than usual. But if you want it high, you can just like untie this and just tie it higher if you want. So these are the jeans that I will be wearing in all of my outfits today. This is just a basic pair of black pants with cutout details on the knees. Um, they're extremely high-waisted, so they go up to about my belly button here. And they are they fit me so well, and they're just so comfortable. You know how some jeans you wear it and it feels like you're wearing cardboard? Um, these ones don't, and I don't have a lot of jeans in my wardrobe, but when I do wear jeans, I always go for these ones. <laughs> you guys know, I've always worn these in the past videos. They're from Revolve, and I'll be linking everything down below, so if you're interested, just click on it to buy. So I'm just choosing to pair it with a white purse, just so it goes with the top a little bit, and with gold detail, because my belt is gold. These bubble sleeve chunky, chunky knit cardigans. And if you're not yet familiar with them, you should go on Pinterest and IG sometime. <laughs> Everyone's wearing them. So you typically wear it like this, which doesn't really make sense if you think about it because then like your shoulders will be cold but like it's just the trendy way of wearing them of course you can also do this you know to protect your shoulders from arthritis <laughs> and it just has like this really super like lantern details on the sleeve and it's super chunky looks like this so it is really warm and obviously you wouldn't wear this in the middle of winter but I just think it's something that if you want to kind of like be cozy going to like a house party Something like this would be cute. So for the next outfit, I thought it would be cool to pair this black jeans with some, first of all, with some OTKs. So the good part about OTKs is that in the winter, it gives you that second layer of warmth for the bottom half of your legs. <laughs> I'm pairing this with a super chunky, cozy sweater. This is from Toby. Um, it has these stripes on it, and it's just like a white, loose-fitting sweater that I think just goes with anything. And so for this casual look, I'm pairing it with kind of like a blazer coat. This blazer coat is from Evernew, and it's really warm actually. It's like a legit winter coat. And um, I just like how it's kind of long, so it comes down to mid-thigh, has some pockets. And the only thing about it is that it doesn't have any buttons or anything to like close you up with, but I just think for the style of this coat, it's supposed to be like a blazer type coat. Works really well with this type of outfit, especially if you got like details underneath. And then for purse, I'm just opting to go with a black purse. It looks like this. You can wear it cross-bodied or you can even hold it like this. Okay, so for the third outfit, I thought I would go kind of like more casual and more varsity. This is a top that I got. I forgot the name, I forgot the brand of where I got it. I have to check the tag, but I'll list everything down below. So this is super cute. When I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I need it because it says I can't, which is like, I say that all the time. And also it features like, it reminds me of a Coke, you know, like the font Coke does. And so it's just a simple red t-shirt. I just paired it with this <sighs> belt purse, belt bag. Um, fanny pack, dangling belt bag, yeah, dangling belt bag is a good name for it. This bag is super affordable, it's only like 10 bucks, and it just looks like this. I just think it gives it that such a chill vibe, like so casual, so chill, like you're not even like worrying about what's going on. I'm just pairing it with a faux shirling denim jacket, so this is a denim jacket on the outside, but with super, super warm um, shirling inside, so the lining looks like this. It's so warm, you guys. So it has that kind of like effortless look that you get with denim, but it's also like, you know, it's warm, so you're not freezing. And this is the finished look. 
I really like the crop detail of this jacket. It just gives it that more effortless look and more modern in a way. When you're walking outside, you're just like... Okay, no one actually walks like that, but you know what I mean. And then when you walk, you know, your belt, your belt, your belt bag dangles like this too. Perfect for LA people. <laughs> Okay, so this is the fourth outfit, and first of all, I'm just wearing this super basic white sweater. Um, it looks like a v-neck when you do this, when you pull it down, but it also can be an off-shoulder top, which I don't know, I think it's cute when a sweater can be versatile, and just pairing it with these tan booties that kind of have a pointy toe. Yeah, so no belt this time, because um, I'm actually going to have a purse that's going to be the statement piece in it. Oh, and by the way, guys, have you ever seen those pictures right now on Instagram where like the girls are wearing their belts like this? Sorry, their purses like this. I think they're actually taking their fanny packs and instead of wrapping it around here, they're doing it on their shoulders. You can do that too for this look if you have a fanny pack, but I'm just choosing to go with this purse since I don't have a belt. This coat is amazing. I think it's only like 30 something dollars. And it's like so fashionable. It's so like well made. Like the material is awesome. Slightly on the thinner side, but I still think it's like really, really good for its price. <laughs> okay, you guys, this scarf is like so, so cute and so unique. It reminds me of the scarf that I put on Lucas, my two-year-old. So remember like when you're like five and you're, you probably don't remember, but when, like when you're like a, a, a young, young, young baby, your mom probably like made you one of these like super giant chunky pom-poms and wrapped it around you and she probably thought it was the cutest thing ever. Well, they make it for adults too. I think it's just... Oh. <laughs> It's this giant poem. It's like the size of my face. <laughs> anyway, if you don't like this look to go with your classy outfit, you don't have to. I just think it's something cute um, as an accessory and you can just, you know, choose to have it on, on or on. Okay guys, so we've come to the last outfit for this video. And for this last outfit, I'm choosing to go with kind of this cropped um, a striped sweater. This is off shoulder. It's from Hollister and um, I just think it's really cute. It's something that um, if you're wearing like solids all over the place, you might want to like spice it up by wearing stripes and um, I just think it's cute if you're pairing this with like a teddy jacket. If you haven't watched my jackets video, make sure you check it out. I'll also link it in the description box. Basically, I did like a whole video on like affordable coats and this is one of them. Just like a teddy bear and it's just so warm and it's so cozy and you can zip it up or not. I choose not to because if you do, then you're wasting your stripes. And I just think it's cute to pair with a purse. So this is kind of like the purse I used in my first outfit. It's like this. Also wearing my <laughs> dad shoes. <laughs> is this still on trend? Are dad shoes still trendy? I don't know, I see a lot of the um, the Balenciaga ones out there and I think this one is like a close second. This one is super popular in the summer. I copped it when like it was sold out everywhere, but I'll be linking it down below if you're interested in getting them. Okay everyone, so we've come to the end of this video. Make sure you leave it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know which one is your favorite. And also, I'm always, always taking on video suggestions. So if you guys have a suggestion on what I should film next, I know I did one dress six ways, now it's one jean six ways. Maybe we can do something like one bodysuit five styles, six styles. I don't know. You let me know. See you in my next one. Bye!